Mexico has booked its ticket to Russia. Now their quest for the World Cup starts June 17th. Pues la verdad es que es un grupo muy difícil. Eh, nos toca el, el actual campeón del mundo y tiene excelentes jugadores y dos equipos complicadísimos, ¿no? Y, y es que me permita estar ahí y bueno, yo creo que disfrutarlo y dar lo máximo de uno. First reaction to Mexico making the World Cup was relief. Obviously, bearing in mind that four years previously, Mexico were on the brink of not going to Brazil 2014. This time, we qualified on the top of the group, so it was a great news for the whole country. Even more special this time, because the USA didn't make it. El Tri finished top of CONCACAF qualifying with six wins, three draws and one loss, finishing five points clear of second place Costa Rica. They finished qualifying with a plus nine goal differential led by wonder kid Chucky Lozano with three goals. Mexico's quest to play a quinto partido, or fifth game in a World Cup tournament, has been hanging over this football enthused country since 1986. And after a couple rough decisions in the past, the nightmare has only continued to grow. Now, manager Juan Carlos Osorio enters his first ever World Cup, with hopes of dashing the nightmares of Quinto Perdido and being the dark horse story of 2018. Here are the three things Mexico must do to come out on top in Russia. Now, this time, we have dynamic and very fast players with a lot of dribbling, but about what we call in Spanish a players with gambeta. Gambeta, very skillful, very fast, like Aquino, like Lozano, like Jürgen Damm, but also we have killers now, like Chicharito Hernandez, Raul Jiménez. So if we combine these uh, skilled players with the killers, like the one we have, top goal scorers in Europe, a uh, player in the best leagues in the world, I think we can have a big chance to do something interesting in Russia. A lot of fans are not going to like to hear this, but I think it's Juan Carlos Osorio. I think the Colombian has got, you know, an added layer to, to what we've seen from Miguel Herrera four years ago. I think he's been working with his squad now, what, since 2015. He knows the players inside out. Eh, la verdad que el, en lo particular creo que me gusta mucho a mí como entrenador. Sabe mucho de fútbol. Eh, a algunos no les gusta, bueno, a muchos no les gusta su forma de dirigir, pero bueno, a mí a mí sí me gusta. Creo que Este, ha tenido este, un poco de, de mala suerte. Well, uh, the big plus that Mexico is going to have a lot of fans, a lot of supporters in Russia because it's going to be a high number of fans traveling all the way to Russia. So in the games, the atmosphere we will make it, it's going to be like uh, playing in the Azteca Stadium in Mexico City or in the local uh, stadiums in the USA because Mexico always plays as a local team in, in the USA with all the Mexicans living in the United States. I think it's Rodrigo El Chucky Lozano. He's having great performances week by week with PSV in Holland and he's very skillful, very fast. Pues yo creo que hay muchos que puedan puedan marcar la diferencia, pero eh, para escoger uno, yo creo que el Tecate, el Tecatito, yo creo que sería muy importante para, para el sector. Jonathan González, the California midfielder, who's been absolutely unbelievable for, for Monterrey in the 2017 Apertura. I think if Jonathan González has obviously got to make that decision between the US and Mexico, but if he does pick Mexico, then if he carries on the form that he's shown at Monterrey, you know, you wouldn't bet against him necessarily being in that World Cup squad.